Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video and in this video today this will be my preview for the Leeds United vs Sheffield Wednesday game you know I'm um, going up against Sheffield Wednesday who are at the moment on zero points this season and they've been not great they've been poor defensively um, and I think they've given away more fouls than any other team in the league I think don't quote me on that I'm pretty sure or oh, they're up there with it sorry also um they're gonna be coming against our attack um and they don't look dangerous on attack at all um when they when they play so they haven't looked great on attack at all when they've had the ball and when they played this season so looks good for us um let's go through the head to head first as i always do this point um the first time i've actually looked at them and gone oh no um so the last the head to head is us winning one game two draws and wednesday winning the winning three out of the last six the last game we did play against them was a 2-0 loss before them was a 0-0 draw before them was a leeds 1-0 win um before them was a 1-1 draw um before them was a 2-1 leeds loss and then before them was a 3-0 Sheffield wednesday win um yeah so yeah not really confidence wise of that and in those games we only scored three goals they scored eight with us having four yellow cards and them having 13 yellow cards. Um, no red cards, though. Um, so now let's go on to the um, the starting 11, and who I think will be lining up in the starting 11. Um, if you guys want to know, I'm legit doing this video legit right after um, Sinistera has gone to Bournemouth. So, um, yeah, that, that's just happened. But let's go through the lineup and um, what do I think. So Messi, of course, I think will start in goal again. You can't drop him. He's been playing well. You can't really drop him. He's not done anything wrong. He's not made a massive mistake. No big mistakes made for him. So you cannot drop him. So Melia will still start in goal for me. Uh, right back, a lot of people may not like me saying this. I think Ailing will still start at right back. Um, I know people would want Spence to start there. I just don't know if he's been here long enough for them just to chuck him in. Um, straight into the team. The reason why we chuck Piro into the team is because we had no other striker. There's no other, no one else we could play striker, and that's why we chuck Piro in. But with Spence, we can put Ailing there. People may not like that, um, yeah. But I could also see a thing where we do. Where I can also see Fark doing a thing where we play Ailing right back and Spence left back, or Ailing left back and Spence right back, like you know, do that, um, play them both. But I don't think we'll do that, and I think we'll play Ailing at the right back position. Um, the two centre backs, of course. Strauch and Rodon, who have both been incredible next to each other and great this season. Even though we've conceded goals, I think their defensively has been really solid together as a partnership at the back. Um, left back now, there's not really many options. I'm going to go with Jamie Shackleton, who I think deserves a start after two, uh, two or three good performances in a row off the bench. Um, and in the last game, he did well from left back and even got an assist against it switch. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll play. I'll put Strauch. Strauch. Shackleton. So Shax will be playing left back for us. Um, the double pivot, of course, of Ampadu and Gray. It's going to be Ampadu and Gray again, I think. I just feel like we're not going to chuck the new players in the team straight away. I feel like we're going to have one week without them in the team, or they're going to be on the bench and come on. They might come on in the second half or something. They might, because I don't think we're going to just chuck them into the starting 11. I think we're going to have them on the bench. So I do think Ampadu and Gray will start in the CDM positions as a double pivot again. I mean, they've done nothing wrong, and they both played decently to start the season. They've never, they've not had a bad game, so I don't think you can really drop either of them. And I think it's harsh to drop Gray. I know he's young, but he's played well. And it's, you can't drop Ampadu because he's played well as well. Um, and then the three in front of them, who would I go with? I would play Nonto on the right. And then you'd have Ruter in the middle. And then you will have Dan James, if he is fit, on the left. No, no, Somerville, sorry. Somerville on the left, Nonto on the right, and Ruter in the middle. <clears throat> um, I think that's what we're going to line up as. And then Piro will be up front as the striker, of course. Um, so that's my lineup. Um, score prediction. I'm going to actually go with a Leeds United 2-0 win. Goal scorers, let's go with Piro and Somerville. I think Piro will score and Crescencio Somerville. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what your score prediction is and your goal scorers as well. I want to like, I want you guys to tell me in the comment section down below what you, you guys think we're going to win or what score it's going to be and tell me your goal scorer. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you boys in the next time. Peace.